My name is John Farrell, and I'm an estate planning attorney here in Marietta, Georgia, and I'm the author of Estate Planning for the Modern Family. Uh, estate Planning for the Modern Family is a step-by-step -step guide to protecting your estate for your loved ones, answers important estate planning questions for you and your family, and much more. And so if you live in Georgia, this book is a must-read. But what I want to talk to you about today are three simple ways to avoid probate costs. You know, the bad news is that probated estates are subject to a variety of different costs, and often these come from things like attorneys and executors and appraisers, and sometimes you need accountants, and obviously the courts and, you know, a variety of situations depend on state law. And a lot of it depends on the probate's complexity, but uh, fees can run anywhere from the thousands to the tens of thousands of dollars. But the good news is that probate costs are often uh, easily avoidable, and um, it can uh, be reduced just by avoiding you know, probate in general. So what I wanted to do today is talk to you about the three simple ways to avoid probate costs by avoiding probate. So the first thing that you can do is to name a beneficiary. Uh, the probate process determines who gets what when there is no beneficiary designation. So naming a beneficiary is the easiest way to avoid probate. Uh, there are often common instruments that allow you to name a beneficiary, and these include things like life insurance policies or annuities and uh, retirement plans. And so if you can name a beneficiary to one of your assets, it will typically avoid the probate process. Second thing that you can do is to create and fund a revocable living trust. Uh, a revocable living trust owns your property, uh, yet you remain in charge of all the legal decisions until your death, you know, after you pass away. Your named trustee manages your assets uh, according to your instructions. And there, this works well if uh, it's properly created and funded, and so you'll want to uh, speak with an experienced estate planning attorney about a revocable living trust. That helps you with things that uh, you can't name a beneficiary to. Uh, things like uh, life insurance, well, no, uh, things like real estate or uh, certificates of deposits oftentimes and uh, things of that nature. So a revocable living trust is, is a second way to avoid probate costs. Third way to avoid probate costs is to own property jointly. Uh, this is something that you would want to speak with a experienced estate planning attorney about. Um, but uh, probate can be avoided if the property you own is held jointly with what we call rights of survivorship. And there are different ways that you can have joint ownership of property, and Georgia doesn't allow all of them. Uh, but as an example, joint tenancy with right of survivorship is one of them. And, and when you've got it titled this way, uh, the ownership simply transfer to the other tenants upon your death, and this is allowed in Georgia. Another way is called tenancy by its entirety. It's a form of joint tenancy with rights of survivorship, but it's only available for married couples and in some states. You know, as an example, I happen to be licensed in Georgia and Tennessee, and I'm also licensed in Texas, uh, but we'll use Tennessee for this example. Georgia is not one of the states that allows tenancy by the entirety, but Tennessee uh, is one of those states that allow it. So uh, again, it's a form of joint tenancy with the rest of survivorship, but it's only available for married couples and then only in some states. A uh, third way to own property jointly is with community property. Again, this is property that's obtained during a marriage in some states that becomes part of the community uh, of the husband and wife. Um, these are only allowed in some states as well. Georgia is not one of those states. Now, state laws play an important role here, and uh, we can help you determine uh, which form of joint ownership is, is a good fit for you, if any of them are. Uh, but if you're looking to avoid the probate process uh, and just finding simple ways to avoid probate costs, uh, these are three of the most simple ways to do so. First, name a beneficiary to the instruments that you can name a beneficiary to. Uh, second, create and fund a revocable living trust. Uh, this gets it out of your name and into your trust name, and that will avoid the probate process. And three, own property jointly. And here in Georgia, if you're a married couple, the primary way is to do joint tenancy with rights of survivorship. 
And so uh, if you have any questions about uh, ways to avoid the probate cost, uh, cost or process, feel free to reach out to us. Our phone number here is 678-809-4922, or you can email me. Uh, my email address is on the screen, and we would be glad to assist you.